It's Ashley and I have not done a vlog in a very, very long time. And for some reason, I was just brewing my coffee and I decided to take you guys along with me today. It's a big day for Upside Goods because this is actually our fourth, third or fourth photo shoot. Um, we've been working with, we, it's just me, working with a photographer out of New Mexico who is absolutely wonderful. A dream, if you will, pun intended, to her Instagram handle. And yeah, I'm really excited about it. So this is going to be all around the holiday line that I'm getting ready to release in November and kind of on a crunch time, but hoping that everything is good. And I wanted to take you guys along with me on this whole journey today. Um, while I probably won't be able to take footage like this where I'm talking to you guys, um, I am going to try and take some behind the scenes stuff and fill it in with information that I think you guys might want to know or things to prepare for a photo shoot. If you followed along with my brand, I haven't talked a lot about how I do all of my product photography because I don't do it. Um, unless it's something that's behind the scenes or kind of off the cuff, um, I hire it out because I know my areas of weakness and that is definitely one of them and I do not have an eye for it. So um, this photographer and I have worked together for other businesses of mine, my yoga business specifically. She's um, done content for retreats that we do and just for publicity stuff that I've need done along the way. And she's been wonderful. And so I wanted to give you guys a little behind the scenes of the clutter that's going on. It looks similar to what's happening with the market. Um, and I actually have a market tomorrow, so it's kind of like intertwined together. So just wanted to share with you guys some of these things. So last night I was scrambling because nothing ever comes together at the right time. Um, hopefully I'm not the only one with that. But anyway, I had gotten ahead of myself and had already labeled some of one of the sizes of my tins that I do at home for my holiday line. This is my holiday line, um, the travel tins that I have, and then I have um, gold everyday tins from Wooden Wick and I have gold aura vessels from Wooden Wick. And so anyway, my point being is that I had gotten a little ahead of myself and then realized I had to change the labels because I changed up some of the names. So these are everything that I'm taking with me. Um, my everyday line is black and white. So I am going to be bringing some of that because I do need some content photos for it. But um, packed everything up that I will be bringing. Um, there's some candles tucked away in here. And yeah, so here's some props that we have. Um, today we're gonna be filming at one of our wholesale accounts. They actually are a re remodeling um, facility and so they actually have a staged perfect area for us to work in. I'm bringing some matches for the holiday, all the vessels that I need to have photos of, candles that I'm prepared to burn, um, all of the things. So. It really is kind of an expansive list here, you guys, but I'm feeling pretty good, feeling pretty prepared. I also take a white backdrop over here. I have a lot of extra backdrops that we're going to be using just for certain stage photos. Um, definitely just this dark green one, but these other ones were kind of just tossed in. That is pretty much my packing list of everything that I need to bring. I'm bringing extra labels in case anything gets scuffed. I'm bringing... Um, my alcohol wipes in case anything gets like dirty or fingerprints or things like that. But this is all market stuff that's going tomorrow. So really trying to organize myself ahead of time. And yeah, I don't know, guys, wish me luck. But hopefully this is going to go really well. Another thing that I wanted to share with you guys before we get into kind of the behind the scenes and walking through like the process and showing that um, is my photographer is really, really great about organizing kind of like thoughts and what we're looking for. And so um, we do kind of like a shoot list. So I send her what I'm really looking for with this photography session because the minute that it starts happening is the minute that things start to go haywire. And we really want to maximize the time that we have together because it's not exactly the cheapest thing for her or for me um, in regards to her time and editing and all of that. Um, we are set up on a repeat contract, so we have multiple shoots a year. But we've really gotten into a groove where we will send each other kind of like or I will definitely send her what shots I'm really wanting to make sure that I get. So for this one, I wanted to get some lifestyle shots because we're in this beautiful kitchen curated area of both my everyday brand and my holiday line. I wanted to get um, holiday photos in that. And so we'll be adding some pieces of decor, things like that to really spruce up the holiday line. Um, and then I needed to get some things that are like product set shoots. So things that I want to get for the website, things that I can use for my wholesale lookbook, 
just a multitude of different things that I could be choosing from because I always kind of want to have this like back stock of content photography that is specific to my brand that I can go and pull from easily given what's on the pipeline coming up. Wholesale is obviously like a big thing for me. So I want to keep moving with that direction. So I always need that kind of stage content for my everyday line. And then I'm sending out my holiday lookbook and same thing. I really want that for it as well. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys, I'm going to try and talk from the road to give you guys a little bit of insight, but I have my front seat packed with all of my sample candles that I'm going to be using today. And I've really tried to get smarter and work less hard in regards to these photo shoots because the first one I did was on location and I literally brought one of everything and then I realized that all of my candles really look the same. I'm really lucky in that regard. So I just take one or two of each color of each size and then I edit the labels in the photo. So if I want it to be something different, then I can just go in and kind of spruce it up a little bit. So I really only have like that much stuff. So it's not bad. Let me prop my phone back up here. So um, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about this space because I was kind of like scrambling with my thoughts per usual. But um, one of the wholesalers that I work with is a marketplace that um, they kind of, it's a family business and they basically do home remodels, but then they also do things such as they have a little home shop and they're building out like a coffee shop and all the things they're doing wonderful things with it. And so I just kind of had the idea. She'd reached out really in the beginning. She was my second wholesale account. And so we've had a budding relationship, but now, now I have like a space that I need because I'm working out of my home and my home is not photo shoot ready ever as we all just saw. And I just wanted something that had more of like a lifestyle feel to it where I could have like a beautiful clean kitchen <laughs> that people don't use and like a bathroom space and just kind of like set up the products for my everyday like year round collection, but then also use that for the holiday. I think that this would be like a really good like unveiling of the holiday line in an actual like home setting. So it's actually working out really, really well. I'm nervous about how this is all gonna go because we're like, basically showing up into someone else's space this this morning um but i'm hoping that it all is going to go swimmingly and i'll give you guys a full report afterwards and just to give you guys a bit of an idea based on how much sorry i've got to get gas wow my hand's really in there <laughs> um i wanted to give you guys a little bit of context based on my rates that i have with a photographer um, everybody's different, so definitely don't quote me on this. And I have a working relationship with the photographer that I use. I use her for multiple things, multiple businesses. So I think in regards to like loyalty, she knows that I am like here for the long haul and she was really interested in, in working on these products with me and the growth of Upside Goods. And so let me get the steering wheel out of the way. Wow, this is why I don't do a lot of vlog posts because this is a lot, sorry guys. Anyway. So her and I worked out a deal that four to five times a year, I can't really remember, but four to five times a year, we will get together and do a photo shoot. So I'm a standing client with her. She knows that the money is like coming in regards to like the contract is just ever evolving. And before each time we do a shoot, um, I believe I pay her about $500. And then that gives me access to the photos that she edits or that deems are worthy. And so usually I'm getting about, I would probably say 20 to 30 photos each shoot. And she's driving to me, she's setting up everything, like really taking care of it, edits the photos obviously. And it's just like, it's just a really nice working relationship. Um, I'm always hesitant to share the pricing that I, that I do or that I pay or anything like that because I feel like people then use that as a barometer and that's totally fine, but I want you to use it loosely. Um, so if some photographer that you reach out to, if they are like, if you reach out to them and you're like, hey, I want to set up something similar to like what this chick on YouTube told me to do <laughs> and they like scoff at it or they say, oh, well, my price is gonna be like a hundred and some dollars or my price is gonna be $2,000. I just don't want you guys to scoff at that because who knows, maybe that's just where they've set their value at. And so you don't have to do business with them. Um, but anyway, I hope that that made sense. I'm really bad at these. And yeah, let me pump some gas and get off my phone so I'm not that person. 
Also, can we just talk about the fact that gas is like a million dollars right now? Like, I don't mean to age myself, but I do appreciate the fact that when I first started driving, just a couple years ago, it was only 99 cents a gallon. So a couple more things and then I'm gonna get rid of this disaster of an angle. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to share with you guys because a lot of you guys have asked um, or I see this question asked. You don't necessarily ask me because I haven't really talked about this topic a lot, but a lot of the questions that I see is like, do I have to have professional photography? Do I have to, you know, put that in my budget for marketing expenses and things like that? Sorry guys, the sun is like coming in hot today. And the answer, the short answer is no. I mean, a lot of photos that I get the photos that I get for actually aren't even for my Instagram, which I feel like some of us have just been wired to think in order to have a successful Instagram, it has to be completely curated. It has to be this like aesthetic. It all has to be professional photos. And I'm just going to debunk that right now. First off, it pretty much all has to be video content at this point, And it doesn't even have to be professional. The things that do the best on my Instagram are literally the behind the scenes snippets and reels of me just doing what I do every single day and it's not sexy, it's really messy and it's definitely not curated. So something I just wanna let you guys know about that. But the thing that I really wanted to tell you guys is that it does not, you don't have to have this big, huge photo shoot spending amount that you pay in order to have you know beautiful photos. I mean, if you can do it, I think it definitely helps. And the place that I use my professional photos the most is my wholesale lookbook, my my inquiries into things such as like holiday gift guides are really big right now. So I will send like an upload photos of the holiday gift guides. Um, I've been fortunate to do like an interview on the news. And so they're like, can you submit photos of your product? Definitely submit it there. And my website, my website definitely is the place for like high quality, high resolution images that are very curated, very professionally done, and that helps a lot. I also use them a little bit on Pinterest, but the girl that I, um, I hire someone to help me work Pinterest because I just have to draw a boundary somewhere, and Pinterest is definitely it, because I don't think I've actually been on Pinterest since like 2011, and I was like DIYing something, but I just don't have time. But my point is, is that I do know that Pinterest is a really powerful tool and the point of this whole thing of the professional photos is sometimes the professional photos do really well on Pinterest, on blogs, things like that. So that's where I use these professional photos the most. Um, and then odds and ends here and there. Like I applied to be on Shark Tank, definitely didn't hear back, didn't think I would. That was a Hail Mary, but I use the professional photos there. <laughs> And that's kind of embarrassing. I just admitted that to you guys. But I wanted to be on Shark Tank. I don't know. I like the show. I think it's cool. I don't know why they would pick me, but I also don't know why they wouldn't. All right. Headed into the parking lot now. So this is going to be our shoot area for the day. We are going to have a few different staging areas. There's some bathrooms all of the things that we're gonna spruce up with some holiday stuff. So guys, I found out why I don't do a lot of vlogs. I'm really bad at them. So this is gonna be the end of this part of the video. And 
what I'm gonna do is actually like sit down and collect my thoughts so I'm not just like rambling all the time at you guys and at the screen and let you know how I really feel about all things photography and what you should or should not look out for and plan for. And hopefully that'll be really insightful, but hopefully this behind the scenes video serves its purpose. And if you guys always have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I love connecting with you guys. And yeah, I hope you like this video and, 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 and don't forget to sign up for our 30 for 30 if you're looking for help with your candle business or really any business that might be needing some marketing and business advice or suggestions or just to have a listening ear on everything that's going on in your world. So my name is Ashley. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned next Tuesday for another video.